Jason, the fine wine, Merlot! Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, he is the dead set weapon, Mario! Both very exciting pullers. And of course, when your countryman's up there, you're proud because we are literally from the other side of the world. So we've got Jason Merlot on the left, Mario Tambakis on the right. Great height from Mario there. And he looks so comfortable in that setup where Jason seems to be the one that can't really find that spot for him. It is over slightly on Mario's side. So I can see where there's a little bit of discomfort on Jason's part. I really do think though, if, it's, if I'm Jason, yep, there we go. I want to go to the referee's grip. That's exactly what I would have done. Not like I'm rooting for someone, Jake. <laughs> Nicholas Nanestad um, beat Nicholas Nanestad, knuckles up one, beat Tom Holland, knuckles up two. So Jason is becoming a stalwart and finding knuckles up as his home, where Mario Tambakis making his debut here and looking to make a mark. Here we go, your semi-main event, round one, referee's grip, Jason the fine wine, Merlot, with the long hair and the dead set weapon, Mario Tambakis. All right, we are getting Mario closed first here. It may be, may be in his favor, let's see where this goes. Are we gonna get the slip? Oh, the vice grips are being very hard to be closed here. Jason's hands closed. Go. Ready, bang! Oh, Deep it all. Jason's Ooh. holding on. Okay. Yeah. Let me One just stay there, five. Jake. They are both showing their strengths tonight. What stopping power there from Jason to catch it outside? Phenom himself. We have to try and keep him off stage. It knuckles up too. He was almost over the uh, Tom Holland shoulder, sticking up for his man. But we love that he was. Marcio comes down. That he was. Okay. Still in referee's grip, like we got that. one foul on when Mario. Just keep that elbow down. Everyone was predicting this match to steal the show. Of course, with the previous matches, it's going to be hard. It's been an exciting card so far. Let's see how we go. Jason getting close first this time. Don't move. Final call from Judy. Ready. Ready, go! Bang! Oh, oh. wow! A bit of a press in there. Took the wrist of Mario there. Great stuff from Jason Merlo into Jason. the strap now. Now, Jake, what did I say earlier? The strap never lies. So let's see who really, truly is stronger. It'll be great. That was a huge hit from Jason Merlo. Very impressive, but we know that's how we attack. On top of the hand, rolling over, just peeling the hand back like a banana. Unbelievable stuff. Let's get these guys all strapped up. Now, Ryan, do you really truly believe that buckle side matters? To a point. There are ways to manipulate that buckle side a little bit as well. But if you're just getting a strap put on, no manipulation, it can play a factor. There's a couple of things. You're also pulling down, and when you're pulling down, you're pulling down the guy with the buckle underneath the opponent's hand. So if you aren't conscious of that and kind of countering that in the setup, it can make a difference. Especially for these a top two guys. Like Mario Jason. just did a great job just doing what I just described. He yep. held it up there nice and high. Here we go. Not much has happened, and I already think this is a cracking semi-main yeah. event. So now, oh, Jason's hand looks very deep. That strap has really given Jason a great advantage there. It's got to starts. really sit nice for him to, to hit the back of Mario's hand here. Third start, no pins. Relax a little bit. Relax. Oh, Mario should be getting close first this time. So here we go. Let's see how big big match Jason goes. Loves it here and knuckles up. Webbing is fine. Webbing is fine. Relax. I'm closing Let's get this cracking, guys. Can you put me low? Low. Low. Like that. Like that. Like that. 
Mario taking a low grip. Like that? Yeah, side okay. pressure coming in. Deep here. He's going to try and stop that pronator of Jason's. No, no, no. Oh. That was definitely a false start. By and Jason. if that wasn't a false start, it would have been a big elbow foul off the front on Mario. Now, let me mention once again, the winner of this match comes up to Knuckles at four. Wow. And we have another match in the books ready. So they're fighting not just for this win, but for the opportunity to come back. Are you kidding me? You got Svetan Vyshevsky. Oh, I did not expect that. And then you have another opponent that's willing to face either one of these guys. This is sexy, that's for sure. Okay. Still on round number one. One fella Mario, one warning on Jason. Jason and being closed first. Ready, Ready. Go. Bang! Mario getting a stop in the middle. Now he tries to get in control. Jason feels cut the hook aside. Drive happens. Mario goes bang! Oh. There it is! Mario Tambacus goes bang! Sit From your right. right down, Jake. That <laughs> is that only first. the first one. That one actually, guys, screaming. That there hurts. Because I have IQ on the team. guys previously you couldn't see either one of their knuckles now they're both very clearly exposed oh the tension is real at the table good grip from jason very high i like that a little bit here we go ready oh can they get it straight bang great hit from jason he's climbed on that head for the sir 
The one over from Mario, Mario costing him. Jason getting a little ticked off there. Well, Very that, justifiable uh, yeah. with an opponent like Mario Tumbakis, G. And, and that's fine, like, from Jason. I like this aggression from Jason Merlo. I think it works to his advantage. We really I haven't seen him much before either. That's right, because when he, cause he's very cool, calm and collective. So he just knows he's in a huge battle. So when he came round and, and dumped... to get all the fair. Jason Merlo. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you got 30 inch biceps as well. That man is unbelievable. So 2,000 Mario, because he is really far forward to committing the elbow at the front because he wants to go deep in the hook. But one little nudge with Jason's back pressure and this match is even. Now it comes down to, I think, how much Mario really does want to get that inside move. He might be coming forward just a little bit as well to try to initiate that. Mm. He's right at the front of the pad there, where Jason's got plenty of room to move. He's in the middle of the pad, and he's going to come back and come back hard. Neither one of these guys seems to be tired at all. And we are back in the referee's grip. Okay. And like that. Okay. Now I need center. Your elbow back. There we go. Mario can still commit from the hook and keeping his elbow there. That'll give him room to move forward while Jason. Ah, oh, he's crept it back up. He's crept it back up. Yes. There goes my theory. <laughs> there we go. Mario on the left. Jason on the right. Round number two. Ready. Go. Bang. A neck. We have the third foul. Third elbow even power. at one. There it is. Three fouls to Mario. Giant. Here we go. Back to the center of the table, round number three. Can Mario keep his elbow from coming off the front of the pad? Can Jason continue to contain and drag it? Here we go. Probably get a referee's grip. <laughs> and again. All they have to do is ask if that's what they want. And here we go. They're just fighting for position here. So Mario looking, he's still at, right at the front of the pad here. 
but he's pacing a bit high, so I think he wants to go to that strap. So he's going to try and hit high, hit with some back pressure. Will Jason hold on to his thumb? It's going to be a referee's grip. Alrighty, the, and the fight continues. <laughs> You just show, like, the respect these two have for each other. They both want it. So you can see that they're fighting flat out. And Jason has asked for referees. He just asked for it, and that's yeah. how we do it here. All it takes at this rule set is that you, one competitor says referee's grip, and you go into the referee's grip. Yeah, it's pretty simple, Ryan, you know. If they can't find the grip, why keep fighting? Why keep wasting time? Just go right to it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So Jason almost getting a pre-warning for leaving the table too many times. All righty. Oh, this is what arm wrestling's all about, isn't it? The tension in the middle of the table. Who can turn millimetres into magic? Can we get a ref's grip sorted? We just want to see round number three. Jason Merlo, Mario Tambakis. Mario's hands closed. Don't move, guys. Jason's hands closed. There's the there hit. There we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get it going now. We don't want this match ending on fouls. Ready, go. There we go. He's oh, tried to jump out of it. Oh, he's got off the back of the pad now. he's doing the right thing. He's trying to get to that strap. However, in doing so, he came right off the back of that pad and drew that second elbow foul. Yeah. So we sit there. Tension builds. Now it's a matter of Mario's confidence because that's like five down. elbow fouls in a row now. Jason, Here we go. Jason's got to hold on to that thumb for dear life. Bang, there it is. There we go. So the wrist is beat up. Ooh, come up. Ooh. Oh. A lot better, a lot better what from Mario. Oh, what is Just the keep call? up that hand. We are Strap. going back to the straps. Whoa. Whoa. He has two fouls going into this match. We are referees grip in the strap. Oh, uh, just even going off that, Mario's side pressure is strong enough, so I wonder if he can just dump it. Just give up that hand, stay on the pad, and just bring that down. Here we go. Round three. Two fouls to Mario Tembakis. Jason Merlo with the binoculars on, ready to just burn through Mario. Some frustration starting to show on uh, Mario's face a little bit. Jason seems to be looking more and more comfortable as this match goes on, and why wouldn't he be? Mario is one foul away from giving up that lead. Yeah, you don't want that. He just put in all the effort in round number one, got it there, and you just don't want to continue to be two one down over six straight fouls. But, you know, you're giving him all the chances in the world. Smart pulling from Jason. Here we go. They finally got the strap. Here, Mario in the back. I'm sorry, uh, Marcio in the back, giving a little bit of pointers to Jason. Here we go. So we have referee's grip right now for you, low grip, like that. A huge advantage. And sometimes when people come to these events, they do not have a corner man that has trained with them for years and years and years. Mm. But am I not mistaken in saying, uh, or am I, uh, that these guys do train together? They do uh, a lot of stuff together, Will? Yes, yes, they know. do a ton, a ton of training. Uh, you know, they are both from New Jersey, train both at the High Five and uh, some local teams as well. But yeah, it's uh, it's great to have someone like that in your corner, Ryan. So you got Marcio who knows exactly what Jason is capable of and what his options are coaching him. That is a big advantage. And then, of course, Mario has Tom Holland mm. in his corner who Jason took on at Knuckles Up too. So both with probably perfect cornermen for this match. Elbow back. Do not move the okay, what this is this is a moment that Shoulder, I like in arm wrestling. Move. This is Mario's Shoulder, moment now. Move. Can he keep his elbow on the table? Can he end up Low getting way. a second pin here, or is it going to be the fine wines day? Mm. We're just yeah. moments away yeah. from round number three. Yeah. Mario is not happy with something. Relax. This is what happens. They know what's on the line here. Relax. And let me also add, both of them know 
even though the people at home don't, who they're going to be pulling who wins. Here we go. Oh, low hand top roll from Jason. He's got it there. So now he's just yanking. Mario just stay on the table. All right, here we go. Just side now push and drive. Can he keep that elbow on the table? He's just a millimeter away. He's got Mario. it. Two one. That's it. Mario Tambakis takes the lead on death row Very with impressive. two elbow fouls there. Great point from Jason Miller. You saw the attacks coming there. Look at the replay. That low hand, yeah, great hit. And just the yanking from Jason, very smart pulling. Compromise the hand of Mario. Mario just driving that side pressure, keeping his elbow on the table. Jason almost got out of dodge there. But there we go. Are they just going to ask for a referee's grip? Doesn't look like it. They're going to fight again. Here we go. Round number four, you dead set legends. Mario Tambak is on the left. Jason Mulo on the right. Jason really sinking underneath the table. Watch for back pressure from Jason here. He can really, he can really do some damage here. He is deep underneath that table. Great adjustment from Jason. Press, bang, out of the straps. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, you brother. And Mario Tambakis is taking that match with a flash pin. In round number four. Oh, they're going to review. Oh, well, we have our... Jake! Oh. Looks like we might have a review on this one. Let's see the instant replay. That... You could not see if Jason Merlot's fingers went below the plane from this angle come to the table please and we have a restart okay that so there there is no camera that can show us the situation exactly and i'm 100 percent sure that mario hit the path but i'm not sure if you your hand touched it so we will go there we play. go great to see okay. you you know, guys, I was right down there in the pit with them. It's very difficult for the referees to make that decision. Judy, Paulina, thank you guys. I know it's tough, but let's just watch some more on rest. Absolutely. I, I will take I'll take that any day of the week. So we're still into it. I'd rather Round see four. them go again anyway. Yeah, 100%. I'm with you boys here in the booth. Look, yeah, Mario's sitting up. He's going to try and get in there again. He's going to try. See how he's starting right on the edge? but he's on the side of the pad because he wants to drive sideways and dump in for that press. So if he can contain his wrist, he won't be, he'll be able to press. But if he loses his wrist, we'll go to the straps. Marcio Barbosa, any closer to the stage, he'll be pulling. Center, center. Here we go. Round four. Jason, very high here. We okay. have a strap right, match. We're in the strap. The pad, yeah, that's fair enough. I didn't see Jason's uh, hand no. hit the pad there. This was a similar situation to the I one we just reviewed, but Mario's shoulder was not behind it, hiding it from the camera <laughs> angle for sure. So we... <laughs> Marcio very upset in the back there. <laughs> uh, he's passionate. He's passionate. He's not being abusive or anything. He's very passionate. That's what we love about it. He loves the high five arm wrestling. He loves Jason Merlo. So why not? As long as you're respectful to the referees, mate, you, you pour your heart out there. Nothing better than a cornerman getting behind you. Because it's do or die now for Jason. He's 2-1 down. Talented enough to get back into this one. So will Mario go back in for the press in the strap? Because you know Jason's going to take that hand if he does. There we go. But you're off center, Marcio. <laughs> Mario really trying to get that shoulder. Oh, I love Marcio. Yeah, he's, yeah, Mario going for that press. Ready, bang. There it is, but it's stopped. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So now, Mario has a shoulder. Now we got something. Crowd losing it. 
Oh my goodness. There you go. We had the fight. I'm glad we got to see that match after that restart. What a match. But we have Mario taking it. Three matches to one. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Mario Tambakis. <laughs> Oh, we got home with that. Ah, let's get in here. I can't help it. You get in there and wear that. All I can say, you're on there, but can you get your arm over there? Otherwise, back up. There we go. Mate, what a match. Yeah, that was really hard. I'm not going to lie. When, when was the moment? Because Jason had full control of the hand. His pronation is one of the best in the United States. When was the moment that you just went, well, oh, I'm going to trick him and I'm just going to try and press him? When my uh, hand gashed out in that second round. <laughs> I guess everybody saw that. Um, I thought, I can't swear. Uh, I said, stuff it. I'll just start uh, dentist press and see how that goes. And it worked. Mate, it was incredible, mate. I'm just proud to be standing here next to you. I'm going to hand you over to Will to give you your prizes and a big announcement. Hey, Super Mario Tom. Let's hear it again for this guy right here. Now, congratulations. It's your first time here at Knuckles Up 3, as Jake, uh, Jake said. Um, great job. I know it was a tough cut, but you are now coming back, Knuckles Up 4, against Plemon. How are you feeling about that? Pretty scared, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I know he's one of the best in the business, and um, I really got to train myself up for that match. That's for sure. Uh, I'm putting this time. No, no cuts. All right, let's get him the award. All right, once again, Mario Tambakis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to Guitar Center. Thank you. We'll see you again. All right.